As the amended rental tax income starts to operate, tax professionals actually say that for those that do their tax returns well, they will pay less tax in the new regime than previously. The effective reduction in the tax rate for, for landlords and, and individuals specifically from about 16% to 7.5%. So you find that uh, previously, an individual, for instance, if they earned rental income of 100 million in a year, then they would pay tax of about 16 million. But now following the change in the new law, which provides that uh, a, a landlord is allowed to deduct 75% of uh, their income as expenses, then that would mean that uh, out of the 100 million, I'll get 75 million, deduct it, and then remain with the 25% that I subject to the tax of 30%. So then the 30% of 25 would give me the effective tax rate that I'm talking about of, um, of uh, 7.5. In that stride, what is the tax man enthusiasm about this new rental tax regime? Apparently, this was a swap for reducing the effective tax rate, but in return, get more people to pay, especially those that were outside the tax bracket. When you look at the, the non-individuals, there were cases where the, the landlords would, would uh, report losses or had uh, these excess um, expenses. And, and so you find that there were many times when the revenue authority would not collect anything from the landlords because of the expenses. But now, if the expenses are restricted to the 75% of a person's rental income, it's an indication that the government will be able to collect tax at all times from the landlords. In addition, the threshold of 2.8 million shillings below which someone will not pay rental tax was abolished. So even for the landlords in slum areas, going by the surface value of the law, all will have to pay tax. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV business.